Why, hello there. My name is Arjun Chakraborty, and I'm here to interview Brainy Professors. Now, we are going to talk about the current situation of Heidi, in a accordance to its past. Heidi is the third largest island among the Caribbean islands, and is a famous tourist desti destination, I should say. Although, it has been facing problems in the last few years, which one of our professors, Mayank, is going to talk about. Yes, indeed. Haiti has been facing a lot of problems. For instance, it has faced many environmental problems in the past. One example of that would be the hurricane that swept through the nation in 2010 and caused massive destruction. Haiti still struggles to recover from this while facing other environmental problems led by friend Dr. Arjun Chakraborty, who is rumored to have a PhD in world history, will talk about. Yeah. So, there are also other environmental issues in Haiti which include severe deforestation problems, overpopulation, a lack of sanitation, natural disasters, and food insecurity. Other environmental issues such as decreases in precipitation and more severe natural disasters will likely arise in Haiti as a result of climate change. A major reason for these environmental issues is that there is not enough sufficient protection or management of the country's natural resources. Experts agree that Haiti needs to adopt new policies to address both the issues that already exist and prepare for the effects of climate change. And now, Spencer Wong is going to move on with talking about Haiti's social issues. Thank you, Dr. Arjun. Now, most of the social issues in Haiti are related to political issues. I'm going to talk about some of the presidencies and their impacts on social life in Haiti. So Haiti has gone through a lot of presidencies after its independence in 1804. Francois, Francois Duvalier, aka Papa Doc, was a president elected in 1968. His rule, based on a purged military, a rural militia, and the use of a pervasive cult, of personality resulted in the murder of 30,000 to 60,000 civilians and the exile of many more. Papa Doc was president until 1971 when he died. His son, Jean-Claude Duvalier, aka Baby Doc, was Papa Doc's son. Get it? Like, Papa Doc's the dad of Baby Doc? No? <coughs> uh, sorry. When he was made a when he was made president, Baby Doc made drastic changes to his father's regime, and due to this, thousands were tortured and killed, and many others fled the country. Baby Doc maintained a lavish life inside his home while outside. Poverty was the most widespread of any country in the Western hemis Hemisphere. In 1986, rebellion broke out, and Baby Doc fled to France aboard a U.S. Air Force flight, ending his term as president. Jean Bertrand Arist Aristide is the next president to be elected, and he was the first president that was elected democratically. He, but some of the Haitian people did not support him and created rebel groups to try and overthrow him. These presidencies acted like dictatorships and were supported by the U.S., all because they were all non-communist. The people that supported Aristide had committed violent acts against the rebels, including rape and torture. And on the other side, the rebels were also committing the same kinds of violent acts. After Aristide was ousted, a UN force was, was to take over and assume leaders. In 2004, a severe flash flood destroyed many homes and led to thousands of people to become homeless, while the, forces, while the UN forces that occupied Haiti did little or nothing to help the people. Okay, thank you Spencer, but that is not the end of all problems Haiti is facing. We will now go back to Mayank who will tell us about economic problems in Haiti. <clears throat> oh, 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 e economic problems! It's, it's not, not your, your turn, turn yet. yet! Oh, right! Anyway, Haiti has been facing economic crisis ever since 1825, when France demanded, demanded money as compensation for the loss of slave and slave colony. Haiti ended up paying about the modern equivalent amount of about $21 billion, which made development in Haiti almost impossible. Furthermore, ever since the 1970s, France's economy is on a st steady decline. The richest 1% of the population controls nearly half of all of the Haiti's wealth, which kind of reminds me of France, France's economy, before the French Revolution, of course. 
It is the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere and among the poorest in the world, which means that the Haiti government has a lot of work on their hands. And now, it's time to present a professor who has a PhD in world history, Dr. Arjun Kumar, aka Arjun's twin. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming, Dr. Arjun Kumar. Why? Thank you so much, Dr. Arjun Chakravorty. But wait, who is going to interview me? Oh, Spencer is going to oh. interview you. Okay, let me go. See you. Well, thank you very much, Dr. Arjun Chakravorty. So now we're going to talk about- Let me talk! Okay, 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 okay! Why do you believe that education is a colossal problem? I just really, my opinion based on education in Haiti is that ionically the, the literacy rate is really low and it's all because of the school system. These schools in Haiti are very poor and they're not even funded by the government. They're, got, they're funded by communities. And just imagine that the community is poor and all the parents are working their butts off just to earn a lot of money, just for their child's education, while the government is not doing anything at all. They do not care. They do not want to help. They do not want to help and make Haiti the best place to live in. And that's a huge issue. And so, the government has to make do something about the school system. Either change it, or make a new system. Because this is so to conclude this, the government has to do something about this. And he has to help out Haiti. Thank you, Dr. Arjun Kumar. We know that Haiti has been facing some problems for quite a lot of, a lot of time. Now, we also know that the only way for Haiti to recover from its downfall would include fundraising money because it doesn't have enough for all its needs. Haiti must also strive to get a stable government. Having a stable government would also impact the social environment in a positive way and make it cap capable of dealing with its environmental and international issues. Thank you for your time.